what if your daughter ended up going to UC Santa Cruz? Uh, <laughs> and there's no name on this. It's just like, what if? <laughs> the cosmic karma, fuck. But that's, that's, what, that's, gonna, that's gonna happen. I just know it's gonna happen. She's gonna be like, Dad, I'm a banana slug. <laughs> I'd be like, why couldn't you be a stand-up comedian? <laughs> Dear Hudson, I saw your AMA that you had several single male writers. How do I set up those intro meetings? Sincerely, Meg, 24, and gainfully employed. Well, that's a great question, Meg. Because right now, we have our single male writers. Meg? Um, Let's just get it popping. Up first, we have at Moss Pericone. Moss, come on up. This is Moss. I don't know if you've been following the Instagram. Um, we have a thing called his mustache. You guys have been voting whether or not she, he should keep his mustache or not. He got rid of it. Your guys' voices matter. Any other, any other fun facts, Moss? I feel really bad right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> up next, we have Ismail Luthi. Ismail, come on up. <laughs> Meg, Ismail has the mustache, so. <laughs> Just depending on what you're into. Ryan? Oh. There was a Ryan on yeah. the AMA. Oh, There's a Ryan on the yeah. AMA. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Fuck! <laughs> it is dirty out in these streets. Damn! That was just the verbal swipe left on both. I gave you two options. You had two brown Nintendo Wii characters. Mustache or no mustache, and you're like, let's go something a little bit more Ryan. Is the Ryan available? Well, I think I have something that fulfills the Caucasian quota of Ryan. We have Zach Rice, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for at Zach underscore Rice. <laughs> Zach, how, you're 25? Yeah. <laughs> don't put some, don't put some in. Don't put some in. I got no skin in the game. Come on, bro. You saw the pop collars. I've been, no, oh, man. I've been out of the game for a minute. He just moved to New York. Can, Zach, come on. Uh, hilarious. You know, you know what's really funny about this is um, my first special was about um, Homecoming King was about a white girl turning down a brown guy. And I found it to be very painful. And now that I watched it happen to Ismail and Moss, um, I think it's hilarious. Prashant, we should just make this the show. What, you just doing Shabby introductions? Yes, yes. People, people want that, Prashant. <laughs> How many times have I told you this? Being smart is dumb. <laughs> like, we were up until like three o'clock in the morning writing this piece. You know I went to like a very dark place when we were writing this? <laughs> Seriously, when I'm like, so if we just burn it all, we're just all gonna die? I went, and then Prashant, remember Prashant? You just started going crazy. You're like, yeah, we deserve this. <laughs> it was like we were staying up late studying for the MCAT, and then your one Indian friend is just like, hey man, we're never getting in. We're going to the Caribbean. <laughs> It's not happening, okay? He was like, we deserve this. Oil, this, oil. Phones, oil. Sharpie, oil. And I'm like, stop, man. You know I have kids. It's everywhere. All right, I've been told by non-brown people that we are in the era of the brown come up. <laughs> Do you agree? If so, what's it 
been like being at the forefront of that? This is, um, this is from Ambika Pai. I didn't know we had the, that was the official title. It's called The Brown Come Up? Are you, are, yeah? That's like the, that's the thing everyone's saying? Yeah, it's been called. It's called the brown come up? The brown come up. I've been calling it the melanin takeover. <laughs> um, I'm, on a, I'm on a brown WhatsApp group called uh, the Berluminati, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's like all brown Illuminati. Um, if so, what's it like being at the forefront of that? I'm like, I'm like the sixth most fam famous Indian American, so. But it's cool, there's a lot of really, really cool artists that are coming up and it's really exciting. What is in your Amazon cart right now? <laughs> Fuck, you actually know that I still used Amazon. God damn it. I went to Amazon, you know what's crazy? I went to Amazon Books this weekend. It's so fucked up. I went to the bookstore. We were in Columbus Circle and I was like, I saw it in the window and I'm like, you know what I like? <laughs> and I bought an Amazon book, which used to be a Barnes and Noble. And, and then when I was at the register, I was like, um, the episode hadn't come out yet. The Amazon episode. <laughs> And I was like, hey, is it, is it hard working here? <laughs> like, I was trying to get dirt, you know? Like, do they make you, like, do they make you pee in bottles? Like, the lady was like. I think they th she thought, like, I was buying a book to just be like, hey, what, <laughs> what time do you get off? Uh, I was like, no, 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 it's for research. And I'm like, that doesn't work either. Because <laughs> the episode hadn't come out yet, but. Um, but yeah, she was like, this used to be a Barnes and Nobles. And I'm like, is, this, is it worse now? And she's like, they're all corporations. They're all the fucking worst. I'm like, all right, duly noted. Can I put it on my Prime number? She's like, yeah, you get a discount.